with foundation and brows just to save a little time because we're mainly focusing on the eyes and using a bronzer to contour the nose, elongating it just slightly and adding a bit on the tip of the nose for a butter nose look. Now adding the Colourpop blush in the shade Palestine to the high points of the cheeks and add a third of the forehead. You want to try concentrate the product there and also adding a dash across the nose. Using the shade Burnt Umber from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette to flare out the natural outer lower lash line for a more puppy dog eye. And a bright pink eyeshadow all over the socket and crease, blending it outwards. I'm just going over it with a dense blending brush to make sure that it's soft and not as concentrated. and adding a shimmer eyeshadow to the center of the eyelids. So use the same blush shade on the outer edges of the eyeshadow just to blend it into the cheekbones. So using a liquid liner, I like to use a felt one first because it just gives me more control. Line the upper eyelid and slowly flare. You want to make sure that this is straight and not angled, so when you hit the outer edges, just put um, quite a bit of pressure. So once the general outline is done, then angle the liner flat on your eyelid for a more precise wing. I'm just fixing up any uneven edges using the tip of the felt liner. I use a pot liquid liner to straighten the edges and fill up any sparse places. I then draw triangles on the outer edges of the waterline. I drew about three big ones and mini ones along the bottom. It's up to you how long or how big you want the triangles to be, but personally for my eye shape, I just wanted them a little bit smaller than the usual um, really, really, really long ones that they usually have. Then line the bottom lash line with a white eyeliner to open up the eyes even further. Use a shimmer shadow from the same Colourpop palette as an accent to the cheeks. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes and adding mascara. I use these eyelashes I purchased from AliExpress a while ago. Um, they're just really long and wispy. While my eyelashes were drying, I lined my lips with the Brink Lip Liner from Colourpop and filled it in and added a water tint just to the center of my lips for a softer look. And clean the edges and any imperfections with concealer. With the same concealer, I used a flat top brush to draw hearts on the cheekbones in just two swiping motions. Adding a red eyeshadow to the edges of the hearts so that they look more defined and adds a cute glow to the look.
going over every heart with the Becca Shimmer Shadow Stick and fixing up the waterline once again because some of it was lost um, as I was doing my makeup. And that's the completed look. Thanks guys! Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. I'm not used to this type of makeup at all, but it was really fun to pull off. I saw this look all over TikTok. We have the typical like heart freckles and the blush that goes all the way from the eyelids to the cheekbones, as well as the really accentuated straight eyeliner with um, waterline accents and I'm a white waterline. And so I should call it, it's just like, the typical ego type makeup, gamer girl, I don't know what it's called, anime girl, I really don't know but it was just really fun to experiment and I do love heart freckles and I just think it suits the look a lot and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this very brief tutorial, lockdown's actually happening right now in Sydney so I just have a lot more free time to do the things that I used to love which was also just doing makeup in general so I put my own spin I did usually it does have a little bit more of the longer lower lash but I just felt like I liked it a bit shorter and obviously you guys can customize it to however you want to do it but this was just my interpretation and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you guys liked me or you want to see more of me then you can follow me on all my social media links which will be listed down below and I hope to see you in my next video and yeah